Hi guys and welcome back. Today we will go about modeling of flow plan in 3ds Max and I will try to finish it in under 6 to 7 minutes. Alright, so first off let me begin with showing you the flow plan and the main difference that are there. For this demonstration I have made two flow plans. The first flow plan is the one which I would normally use in drafting and modeling. Alright, so the first layer is the normal zero layer and here you can see that I just have some text and some basic railing lines and a duct design sort of thing. Then in the second layer is the columns. These are normal rectangles. Alright, these are not blocks. These are just normal rectangles that I have made. Then in the third layer is the doors. Now for the doors, as you can see, it's not a normal block for a door is just a normal rectangle this is just for making the opening uh, vis uh, visible basically just showing me where the opening for the door is then for the next one i have floor so for the flooring i have used a spline and this is pretty fast to do in autocad as compared to 3ds max and why i'm making this layer is basically so that i can have a uh, flooring in my 3d model so i don't have to make those lines in my 3d model and it is just very fast to do it in autocad itself and then import it into 3ds max then i have my walls layer whoops i my flooring converted it seems i'll just have my floor layer for now here you can see these are my walls now the difference is is that my walls are all rectangles as you can see or they are is closed splines then I have a windows layer so as you can note that my windows and my doors are not in the same layer keep this in mind as this is quite important for the 3d model so basically this is my flow plan for the 3d model this is the flow plan that I normally use for my CAD drafting as well and also for my 3d model and it's pretty efficient and fast now for the second floor plan i will show you all what i normally used to do and normally what others also seem to do and uh, basically what are the major differences between the two floor plans so starting off is the column the column is a block all right all these columns are blocks except this one this one is a rectangle only but the rest are all blocks so there's a slight difference in blocks and uh like no block basically and then i have my walls which is just normal lines so normally you would not make a rectangle but you would just make normal lines like these so it is very important to note this next up we have the doors and then we also have the windows in the same layer now the reason why people do this is that the doors and the windows are cut at the same line and have the same line weight so basically they put them in the same layer now for a 3d max or 3d model basically in general you do not need these type of cat blocks that you see uh, such as the door cat block basically these are just representation for to show that there's a door over here that there's a door opening and we don't need this in the 3d model so it's prefer that we do not keep these for the 3d model and just delete them altogether. so these are the two floor plans the floor plan 2 and the floor plan 1 First off, I'll show you flow plan 2 and what are the issues and then I'll show you flow plan 1. Alright, so right now we are in 3ds Max and we are with the flow plan number 2. Alright, so right now I'll just turn out these grid lines by pressing G. Alright, and I press Alt W and show this plan properly. Now, as you can see, once I select the wall, alright, everything else gets highlighted, all the other walls. So now, Normally what other people would do or normally what I have seen other people do is they go to AEC extended and click on wall and then start creating walls and just type in the thickness of the wall maybe and the height. All right. And they press S and they select. And it's left. Let me click left. So normally people would do something like this way and you know go about making their walls. All right, so I used to do this method itself, but it's kind of uh, 
it's kind of a long procedure when you have a larger floor plan or like you know a building floor plan and there are a lot of walls to do and it just takes a lot of time so normally what i would do is i would go to the modify tab and just say, select extrude now if you i have extrudes uh, mentioned here but if you don't just type extrude and you get extrude now here you note see what happens all the other all the other lines have just gone And see how it is so basically this one was a rectangle before but as you can see these two were the lines and you see how they are coming now also note that you have this yellow color which is normally the material texture and then you have the black which is actually the back side of the wall so basically now 3ds max does not know which face of the wall should be facing which side you know so it's kind of confused as these are just normal lines so it just faces anywhere now you could just individually select each one of this convert it to an editable poly select one face and then you know detach and then flip normals kind of thing so you could do something like this way but come on like it's going to take a long time to do something like this and it's just a lot of unnecessary work that needs to be done so here we have this type of walls selected. Now we could easily, let me just delete this modifier. Let's put this over 3000. Now I'll show you what is with the blocks. Now it is known as Viz block in 3ds Max. And when we extrude these, all of them extrude together. But the main advantage of the Viz block layer is basically is that you could select one, like adjust geometry, link geometry and then select basically and move it kind of so you can uh, what do you say sort of edit the layer within 3ds max with the help of this viz block by clicking on adjust geometry and then link geometry so right now so there you have that benefit but now the main thing is sorry the main thing is the window and the door layer now as you can see once i select the window i'm getting the door as well now i do not want that but the problem is now you have everything selected so even if you try to extrude now you get the idea of what is happening is that even the door which was just a symbol is now getting extruded and like you could just edit it and make lines and etc but again it's just a waste of time and a lot of energy is wasted into doing such menial uh, or other such unnecessary work which you could easily avoid and save a lot of time so this is the first one the flow plan number two which i just wanted to show you as what it would mean to do the traditional way or rather the normal way that most people do it so now like people would normally use a lot of these type of methods now they would make walls and then like you know then make a door inside the wall and this that just takes a lot of time basically all right now i will show you all how i model the flow plan number one the one which i normally tend to model quite faster and let's try to finish it in, an, uh, in under about six to seven minutes. So let's go. All right, so now as you all can see, I have opened the first flow plan in 3ds Max and we are ready to model. So the first thing is our columns. Now I'm just going to select this, extrude it, click 3000, that's three meters height, 3000 mm. Get your conversions right always, very important. And there we have it. So now we have our walls and our columns in just two clicks. How cool is that? Pretty interesting. Then extrude the door. Door height is not three meters. You only have it about 2100 for an apartment. Just press W, press Shift, and click OK for copy. Now make sure it's not an instance. And move and select this here. Then just select 900 and give this a color just for reference sake. Or some yellow or something that looks different than the normal door. Now, the important one is the 
window layer. This window is for the living room. It opens to a balcony. So this sill height of this window, the bottom part of this window is at a height of 150. But for my washrooms, it is at a height of 1200. And for my kitchen, it's at a height of 900. So as you can understand, I have different sill levels for different uh, windows basically and for now I'll just keep the lintel height at 2100 the standard and I will show you how we can model all these windows with different sill, uh, sill levels in one single layer and pretty efficiently and pretty fast now uh, just one thing is that this wall has come like a as you can see it's come like the previous one this black black doesn't look good I don't like black so I'll just select edit Poly, select this 5 and delete it and now I'll just go and make a box here normal box nothing fancy and there done and just give it a different color yellow or something and there we have it so right now I will just select this and isolate it so I can see it clearly all right so right now I will just go here, click on extrude, select 150, press shift, move up, press OK, snap it back, then 150 plus 750 is 900, then press, press shift, OK, move it here, 750 plus, uh, this was at 900, so now the next one is at 300 is at 1200 sorry so 900 plus 300 is 1200 press ok select this and now this one is the to the lintel height basically so 1200 plus 900 is equal to 2100 and just select this ok snap it back here I'm done now if you notice if I put now actually this is the glass okay let me just show you this part is all the glass for this window now oh, yeah, actually you can select multiple at a time but now you can notice is that the washroom windows become so long and the kitchen windows become so long definitely something is wrong so what we'll do is we just go to this one convert to editable poly press 5 select this oh sorry select this one this one and this one and then just detach it and now we can put it back to the normal color that it was or any other color same one for this now actually this is a 900 so this is fine but for the washrooms it is different so we carry out the same operation edit poly press 5 select this and select this and then just detach and done and then just press a different color select a different color as per your liking and there we have it now I'll just unisolate it and now we have this pretty neat pretty neat now also for the flooring I selected the full flooring I just click here go and I'll click shell for a different um, um, basically a different modifier that can also work an extrude modifier or either a shell modifier now for the uh, flooring why I use shell is because shell has the option of inner amount and outer amount. Now I'll show you what's the difference with these two. The outer amount moves upward as you can see while inner amount moves oops, inner amount moves downwards. So right now the flooring is basically not up. Uh, Alright uh, the slab is basically not up because if it was up if I type 150 year and this zero then you can see that the floor and this is become one line It's kind of wrong all right so what i'll do is i'll just select here and in amount 150 and done that's it oops something went wrong oh zero ah, there we have it now also if you do not want to do this and you want to use extrude modifier you can go ahead and do it just click extrude type 150 Go on the z-axis, just go on the z-axis and type here minus 150 and there we have it, we have moved it down. 
and basically this is a pretty fast way to model uh, like a floor plan so if you have a big building or you know a massive uh, structure basically residential structure of anything of that sort you can basically make this type of flow plan pretty fast and it goes according to layers and it's fantastic basically it's the best thing you could do also another thing is if you would like to make railings obviously you don't want people to fall off your balcony so what you could do is just put in a line just press s so then you have a what do you say a spline basically and then what you can do is go to this standard perimeters go to ec extended click on railing pick railing path just pick railing and just increase the segments to let's say 50 and then you can just uh, you know change the post like in the number of posts if you like make some few more posts okay and uh, you can have all of these changes fencing pickets whatever you like basically you can do all of this much more efficiently and faster and just because of immense speed basically it just makes it a much more better experience to model and uh, have fun with it so please do like share and subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me and i hope you love this video this is something new something different that it really helped me a lot and i hope it helps you all in 3d modeling on three in 3ds max and i hope this new year is better for all of us and i'm looking forward to making more content more videos based on architecture furniture modeling etc and uh, just having fun with it having fun with 3d modeling and i hope to see you all in my next video goodbye